how do you find the perfect niche for your new YouTube channel? Many people, the number one thing holding them back is they feel like the passion that they have and the thing that they want to talk about isn't something else everybody wants to hear. And I'm going to show you a way today that you can take some of those odd passions that you don't think anybody wants to know about and how you can turn that into a profit. I'm going to show you how you can find out if it is something that people are actually going to search for. And you're going to be surprised because I'm going to dig in and pick some things that you might not have even thought about. Now I thought about making this video as I was riding on my four wheeler. I went down to get the mail, going down the driveway. So I thought I would take you on that little trip today and talk about how I came up with the idea. Actually, I was riding my four wheeler and I thought, what are some topics that people might look for that we think without researching that nobody wants to know about it? Or maybe it's something that there isn't enough information. And the number one thing I thought I'm gonna look up riding four wheelers and I'm looking it up just like that. I'm not an expert. I don't know a lot about it. Maybe I'm searching and want to know more about four wheelers. Is it something that other people have made videos about and are they profitable? Anybody can make a video, right? That's needless to say, but are there channels that are getting lots and lots of subscribers and lots of views with a topic like riding a four wheeler? So let's look it up. But before we go, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I have a video that comes out every Tuesday and Friday about how you can turn your passion into profit using YouTube and go ahead and hit that notification button and you'll be notified every time a video comes out. We're going to go ahead and jump in. And the first thing that we're looking up is riding four wheelers. That's exactly what I typed in. Now I'm going to also share with you that over here to the side, I use TubeBuddy. And TubeBuddy is a tool that I use that will help me um, give me some more information. Let me know if this is something that people are actually looking up. Now, as we're waiting for that to come up on the side, let's go ahead and look over here at some of the titles. How many subscribers do they have or how many views? Riding four wheelers ran. Oh, this guy said ran from the cops. So a lot of people might want to watch that 766,000. We went to McDonald's on four wheelers. Insane. One million views. Now, how much fun was that to make? and people want to watch teaching my brother how to ride a clutch four-wheeler insane four-wheelers mudding fastest quad ride on the trails all of these have got millions it are very close to millions of views so definitely a topic that people want to see now my two buddy tool over here to the right is going to give me more information the search volume on this is excellent now i might have already came to that conclusion by just looking at the videos at the top 10 competitions not too bad it's fair you want the competition to be fair or better um, if it has poor competition doesn't tend to do very well especially um, just because that a lot of people um, might not be searching as it as you would like even though it's a topic that there's videos and you could get into the niche, but are people really coming out? And um, is there a lot of other people making them too? You want the competition, but not too much. All right, so let's go down here. This is what I really like as well. When you make a channel, let's say you're talking about four wheelers and you're like, okay, but what am I gonna talk about? Two things that you can do. One, look over here to the right, and these are some selected searches. Um, these are different topics that you could use. They're called long tail keyword searches. And you can make videos on these topics because these are things that people would be looking up. Um, riding four wheelers on the beach, in the snow, on the road, in the woods, in the mud. So think about it, all the different places. Somebody just talked about riding a four wheeler to McDonald's. So that leaves it wide open. You can talk about different techniques, different trails that you've been on. I'm um, teaching other people. Um, if you're mechanical, you could even talk about um, how to um, keep your four wheeler in good shape and how to take care of it and on and on and on. And these are some top single word keywords that you would definitely um, would want to use. ATV, quad, Honda, Yamaha, and so on. So this is where TubeBuddy helps you come up with those keywords that people are searching for. So I think it would be profitable. Let's go into one of the channels. I want to go into this one here. Insane four-wheeler mudding. So let's go in. His name is Brandon Price. But let's just go in. Um, obviously, there's a lot of action. You can see that up there in, in the channel art. Um, 219 million views on this channel, which is very, very good for just 500 videos. Um, it looks like they're making about two to three videos a week. The last 30 days, just 12 million views. So it's definitely a profitable niche to get into if this is something you love to do. 
I didn't think it would be that high. I honestly thought this was something that, you know, would there'd be videos, but not millions of views. I want to look at this other one down here. Uh, which one? Uh, here. Fastest Quad Rider. It has 2 million views. What I want you to get from this is that if you have an idea, a passion, something that you have been thinking about and you just haven't taken that leap, do a little bit of research first and see if it's something that people are looking for. Now, what I would suggest as well, let's look here. Okay, this one, look at all these videos right here, a million views, close to a million on the next few. So he compares a quad versus a bike. Um, I'm coming back to YouTube. Um, these are just how to build a, a motocross track. So there's all kinds of different playlists down here. So there's a lot of information you can get just by going into the other channels and seeing what people are watching. Again, you don't want to copy what they do, but you want to get ideas of what people are looking for. One of the things I suggest doing is once you come up with your topic and you see that it is something people are looking for, then I suggest getting a piece of paper or type on the computer, however, however you do your research, but start writing down content ideas. So you might take that one topic, riding four wheelers, and then maybe think of four subtopics. Like maybe, maybe you want to write about um, riding them in different places, um, upkeep of your four wheeler, um, maybe, um, I can't think of two more because I'm not a four wheeler, advocate like this or a lover. I just ride mine in the mailbox and back. But think of four subtopics and then make your videos in those topics and come up with a hundred different content ideas. You're saying a hundred ideas, that's impossible. It really isn't. Once you get your brain going, you're, you're just start just spitting out all kinds of information because you have a passion for it and a love for it. So you're going to think of a lot of things to talk about. So definitely do that before you start your channel. All right, let's look up something else. I'm off the cuff. I thought, well, what about quilting? Surely there aren't profitable channels about quilting because that's something I, I don't think a lot of people do anymore, do they? Let's look. So I looked up quilting and I was really pleasantly surprised that people are still quilting. And this one here, 44, um, they, they gave a bunch of um, $44 store quilting supplies. So you can go to the dollar store to get your supplies. 150,000 views, 46,000 views, the final stitch. She's got different episodes where she's teaching you different techniques. That could go on forever. You could, you could go um, in your video, you could do a series on how to make one certain quilt and just go step by step, step and do different playlists and you've got your channel going on forever if you quilt and this is something that you love to do so definitely um these are in the thousands not in the millions but thousands are okay so it definitely is a, is a niche if you'd love to quilt that would be um, good to get into excellent search volume now here it says poor competition what that means is there's not a lot of people out there doing it so they're there but you might not get as you can see, millions of views, but you might get thousands. So um, that's what you're looking at when you look at the difference between four four wheeler uh, riding four wheelers. Let's try something else. Next one is um, the best places to read books. In here, there are a lot of videos about that, and a lot of them are actually videos about reading and best places to read are a video within that but let's look at emma books because that's her name my favorite places to read that's one of her videos in emma books words have the power to change so here you go she made a whole channel about reading my personal favorite videos um, book habits reading wrap-ups book tutoring so there you go book discussions um, you can talk about different genres different age groups of books but the point and all of this is find something that you love to do and then turn it into a YouTube channel and you can share your passion and it will turn into profit. I like this one here, I think is a good example of reading books. She's stuck within that concept. Her channel is about reading books and then she picked like four subtopics and went off on those. You don't want to deviate too much because Google Analytics will look at your channel and what your channel keywords are and make sure that you're staying within those keywords. If you start reaching out into different topics, hoping to get that one video that's going to, they call it a gateway video that's going to bring you in all these um, views and subscribers, you're going to have all these people that are disappointed 
because if if this person started talking about riding a four-wheeler and made a really good video but then you went to her channel and she's talking about books that just doesn't go so you're really not going to have a loyal audience or, or fans if that makes sense so you want to keep it within that niche and make it something you're passionate about that's the bottom line before you do it though like i said go in you saw how easy that was that i just went in looked around it was kind of fun you might you might find yourself looking and watching lots of videos while you do it maybe hit a timer or something to make yourself stop and get back to work but definitely find something you have a passion for and get started today all right tubebuddy is what i used i showed you that here off to the side um definitely use that to help you um, do some research let's go back over to one of these other ones and um, i want to show you how easy it is to install you just install it as a chrome extension and then you'll have this little um, tab up here and it does other things there are tons of other features there's other videos out there talking about all the other features but this is just one of the simplest features that it has when i first got it all these um, keywords were not right there at my fingertips i had to actually you know hit a few um, buttons and links and things to get to it and now it's right there and that's what i love about it they're constantly upgrading constantly making it easier to use i have a link below if you would like to start using it feel free to use that link and check it out all right thank you for watching today i hope this was helpful and i will see you on the next video